I'd like to introduce our first speaker, Michel Rubarel, who is from Banking Circle, who will actually be lending a different slant to what PSPs should be thinking about in terms of their offerings. So, Michel, the stage is yours. And you can clap. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am delighted to be here. My name is Michel Ruparel, and I am GM for Banking Circle. I look after all things client-related. My background, I've been in the business for the last 15 years, working for organizations like Barclays, WorldPay, and First Data. And I'm really excited today to present to you our lending solution that will help small businesses and businesses like yourselves with a new income stream. I hope this works. Good. So, let's get started with my, um, with my favorite restaurant. This is The Good Egg, which is in Stoke Newington, a hipster part of London. I'm clearly not a hipster. I don't know why I did that. Um, I had the opportunity to speak to The Good Egg around um, some of the challenges they face with, with financing. And like, Many restaurants, they aspire to open up in different premises around London. Now, this is very expensive and very risky. And one of the ways the Good Egg can experiment with their concept is to open up a food truck. Food trucks is a more cost-effective way of expanding into a different part of the, of the city. But this is still expensive. The Good Egg needs to buy the truck, they need to get inventory, they need to get staff to actually man the truck. All of these requires financing. There are many other reasons why businesses like The Good Egg and restaurants need financing. If you step into a kitchen, the refrigerator could break tomorrow. That can be immediately 10,000 pounds. They may need more staff, so a lot of the restaurants um, are seasonal, they're busy during the weekends, quiet during the weekdays, so it's always challenging how do you manage your cash flows when you're hiring new people. And finally, they just may need a refurbishment. The restaurant industry is not the only industry that's facing challenges with financing. Hairdressers, gyms, many of these businesses are struggling to get financing to expand. A lot of this is geared towards what happened, towards what happened in 2008 and the economic crash. These businesses are getting refused for a loan, and when they do get accepted for a loan, the loan doesn't fit with their business requirements. For example, a hairdresser is very busy in December because everyone's getting their hair done. January, business is quiet, and then it becomes normal. Gyms are very busy in January because everyone's you know, got their resolutions. February, March, April, it's quiet. May, everyone panics and they're back in the gym again. So these are seasonal trends that we need to factor in when we are lending to this particular sector. And here is the opportunity. Banks are not lending enough to SMEs. And when they do, it doesn't fit with their business model. This is why small businesses are struggling to grow and compete with their larger chains. Now, I love going to independent restaurants. I am all about supporting the independent. I enjoy a pret a manger every so often, but do I really want to have a pret every day? And this is what we face. This is the, these are the challenges we face as lenders. If we don't innovate, or better understand the SME sector, we will prevent this, in, this, this sector from growing. Now, I have some data that I will share with you. Um, this is data that we base, that's based on, on the UK, um, but it's reflective across, across Europe. Businesses like this gym represent 90% of UK businesses and they employ two-thirds of the UK workforce. 
That is astounding. So how do you think these businesses are, businesses are treated? Over half these businesses cannot get a loan. Now, to put things into perspective, the SME sector will contribute around 241 billion pounds by 2025. So these are big numbers. The good news is, together, the people in the room and banking circle, we can help change this reality. So, who are we? Banking Circle is a provider of banking services to the financial tech industry. You may know us from Saxo Payments, so we were born through Saxo Bank, and we were recently acquired by Equity, one of the largest Scandinavian venture funds, towards the end of last year. Hence the name change. Many of you in the room are clients of ours. You know, we service PSPs, merchant acquirers, challenger banks, and banks. And they use us for a variety of products. The main ones are payments, accounts, foreign exchange, virtual accounts, and finally lending. And today, I'm going to focus on our lending solution. So let's, um, let's go back into the gym. Many of you already have, are already servicing businesses like this gym. <coughs> you're providing it with a car terminal, you're providing it with a payment gateway. Well, guess what? You can now provide it, provide the business with a loan. We take on all the risk, we provide the infrastructure, and the really cool thing is that we can actually brand it and make it feel like it's you providing the loan to that business. I think the key thing as well, which we have to, which I want to reiterate, is that we do take on the risk. It's us that's providing the liquidity and capital behind that loan, not you. So how does it work? I want to keep it very simple, because it is actually quite simple. Businesses like the gym, once they get approved for a loan, we immediately issue a virtual account. This account is in the client's name. The client, the gym, then informs their merchant acquirer to redirect their card flow into that account. We control that account, we deduct all the relevant fees, and we settle the net back to that merchant's account. We control the risk, it's simple, and it's instant, so there is no delay in the settlement cycle. And what's really cool about this solution is that the business can actually pay a percentage of their card receivables. So we spoke earlier around seasonal activities, restaurants being busy during a particular period, and then quiet, gyms, etc. With this solution, if they're busy, they pay more of their loan. If they're quiet, they pay less. And everything for you is off balance sheet. So you as the acquirer, you as the PSP, this doesn't affect your balance sheet because we are the ones funding that loan. I truly believe that this is transformational for the small business sector. It's also, um, I think the exciting thing is also it's a new income stream for your, for your business. Now, if I take the same principle and apply to a different example, this solution we call instant settlement. Now, if you're a business or an SME, and you are transacting on a Monday, very often you have to wait until Friday or the following week to receive your card funds. Under the solution, instant settlement, which follows the same principles as our lending structure, you can receive, you as the business can receive your funds instantly literally at the click of a button. So you don't need to wait three to five days to receive funds. Can you imagine what this means for a small business managing their cash flow? Again, another example, Amazon. I shop at Amazon all the time. My house has Amazon boxes everywhere. I'm sure many of you do as well. Many of these Amazon sellers are waiting 
five to 15 days to receive their funds. Not just Amazon, many of these marketplace sellers are waiting five to 15 days to receive their funds. We can apply instant settlement to this sector, which means these sellers can receive funds instantly as opposed to waiting five to 10, five to 10 days. Again, I believe this is transformational for these Amazon sellers. We are already doing this for many of these businesses today, and we're seeing the scale up being quite, quite impressive. So I'm going to finish on this slide, which um, uh, I'll explain um, why I'm putting a picture of a beautiful uh, news agent. I am genuinely excited by this opportunity. This solution is unique, it helps small businesses, and it provides you with a new income stream. You may have heard of the Napoleon quote that the UK is a business, is a country of shopkeepers. No one knows this better than me. This is the news agent I grew up in, in Northampton. So I know the SME sector, and I know the challenges that they will face. As a PSP and acquirer, you are swimming in a commoditized ocean. The exciting thing about the banking circle is that is we support many of you today, and we know that you're under incredible pressure when it comes to margins, especially with payments and acquiring. We believe lending is a great opportunity to support small businesses and also provide you with a new income stream. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michelle.